Hi, hi, this is Doc Mante, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. We are still on 2022 past paper one of mathematics, which was written by the GCE candidates. So now, this question is actually based on variation. So now, under variation, you have to have the ability to formulate equations. The ability to do that will enable you to answer any question of whatever kind. So now let's look at this one. They're saying y varies directly as x. Y varies directly as x. And inversely as the square of z. The square of z. Okay, so now we can formulate an equation from this. We say y is equal to, there must be a constant of variation, which is k, x over z squared. So that's the equation that we'll be making use of. So now, <clears throat> they're saying, determine the value of k, the constant of variation. So now for you to determine k, you have to make use of the information which you've been given in the leading statement. So... We can collect data here. We say y is equal to 8. I'm getting it from the, the leading statement. And then z is equal to 1. And so we can plug in the values. There's one more which is missing. There's x as well, which is a 4. So we get all those values and plant them in this equation. So where there is y, we substitute y with 8. Then where there is k, or where there is x rather, we write a 4. And then z is 1. So we have to square it. And then we do this, 8 is equal to 4 times k, that's 4k. And then 1 squared is a 1. Okay, so we can divide 1 into that, or we can cross multiply by introducing 1 this side. So 1 times 8, that's actually 8. 1 times 8, that's 8, which is got 1 times 4k, that's 4k. Our interest is to find the value of the constant of variation, which is k. So we divide both sides by 4, 1 to 4 out. Therefore, k is equal to 2. We can say, therefore... The constant of variation k is equal to 2. After having found that one, we can now change our equation here. Still, instead of writing k, we have to, to be writing it to there. So I can go on and it get b here, but I will need to move on with this same equation. So that's y is equal to k is now a 2, then x over z squared. We have made use of that information to determine the value of k. So you no longer need to be falling back on it. With these other questions, you'll be using what you will be given. So now they're saying, find the value of y when x. So let's say delta x is equal to 9. And then z is equal to 3. So we simply plug in the values of these variables into that equation. So that would be y is equal to 2, x is actually a 9, then z is a 3, which is which should be squared. So now that would be y is equal to 2 times 9, that is 18, 3 squared, 3 squared, that's a 9. Those so 3 squared when expanded, that would be 3 times 3, which gives you a 9. So 9 into 18, that's 2. So y is equal to 2. Let's move on to C. C will still make use of this equation with the constant k as 2. So that will be C, y is equal to 2x over z squared. Let's see what we've been given here. We've been given y as a 3 and x as 54. We plug in the values where there is, where there is x, we, we plant in 54, where there is z, where there is y, we write 
we write the 3. So this would be 3 is equal to 2, what is x? That's 54 over z squared. This is a fraction, we need to get rid of it. But of course we can multiply it also that we find the answers. So now what we're going to have is this. Uh, 3 over 1 is equal to, let me just multiply out this. 2 times 4, that's 8. 2 times 5, that's a 10. Over z squared. We need to get rid of the fractions. For us to find the value of z. So we cross multiply. z squared times 3, that would be 3 z squared, which is equal to 1 times 108, that's 108. Our interest is to find the value of z. So we need to get rid of this 3, which is here. We divided both sides of the equation. That and that will go, and then we'll have z squared, which is equal to 3 into 10, that's a 3, you remember, a 1. Then 3 into 18, that's actually 6. So we have 36 here. So now, our interest is to find z not z squared. So we need to find the roots of both sides of the equation. That and that will cancel. The moment we do that, we know we're going to have the uh, two answers of two different, you know, signs. So now, what's the root of 36? That is actually a 6. So we have plus or minus 6. So friends, that's how we go about these things. If you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, you do so for the sake of locating it. And then turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post any video or when I go live, you happen to be alerted. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.